Mike. Poor guys. Poor guys. Doing smart. God, you're even coming, Steven. I thought you tagged up. Yeah. He's my lucky charm. Hey, that would be like that. <laughs> Well, even though it warmed up after Stevie had killed his turkey, uh, like Bob and Mike always say, if you don't like the weather in Wyoming, just give it a minute and it'll change. Well, it, it changed. It changed for the worse. It started getting cold again. The wind started blowing, snowing. Uh, it's actually been a couple miserable days turkey hunting uh, just because of the weather change. Well, the next morning, we would uh, went down to the intersection where the turkeys was all at, but there was actually so much snow it had actually pushed those turkeys out of that out of that draw where those turkeys had been roosted. So we, we loaded back up that morning after freezing again, and uh, after we shook the snow off the blinds and the decoys and loaded all that back up, we headed back up to the ranch and we met up with Mike Schmidt and uh, was letting him know what, what had happened that morning. We hadn't really seen or heard any turkeys and he'd actually been out that morning and seen and heard turkeys at the slash pile. So he recommended that we go back out there that afternoon. Spoke with Mike Schmidt. He told us where to go. So we pulled down in here and seen all kinds of turkeys. They're gobbling, strutting. So we come around the side of this hill and try to get up in front of them. So there's several gobblers in that area, down in that group. It's just a matter of getting them to come in the air. So the snow's a little deep. Hopefully we can get it done. So stay tuned. They wasn't really interested in what we were saying. Uh, they were just kind of up on the hills doing their own thing. And, uh, but we knew where they was going in to roost at, and the next morning we decided we'd be in there uh, trying to get below the roost. Well, I've been hunting with a bow um, the last three or four days, and. So Tuesday morning was no different. Bob and I went out uh, to the slash pile again and got set up to where we thought we was, we was gonna be in the turkeys. And sure enough, at daylight, they all started gobbling and carrying on. And um, I, I don't know, there's probably six or eight different gobblers there probably gobbling, several jakes, uh, whole, whole gob of turkeys. And um, you know they all flew down, we started calling, they was kind of responding and we had some hens come in our decoys and things was really looking up. and. We actually seen a strutter and he finally come in to the decoys, which with, with those hens in our decoys, it surely helped. Um, he come in about 12 or 15 yards and uh, he wasn't quite to the decoys. Bob was trying to film it all and I thought, well, I'll just wait and see if he comes on into the funky chicken and does his thing with that. And uh, he kind of veered off to our left a little bit following those hens and we thought he was gonna come back and I, I put off shooting uh, and he actually dropped down over the hill and I didn't get a shot. Well, Tuesday morning when all those turkeys had went by the blind and stuff, you know, they would all went up on the hill and they was all up on this road strutting and carrying on and gobbling. And, uh, you know, of course, all the gobblers was within eyesight of all the hens in that group. And so Bob and I decided to get out and try to get to that road. There was a big bend in the road right there. So we decided to get out, try to get to the road and maybe do a stock with my bow. I had my rangefinder in my pocket and uh, we got to the road got around that bend, seen four or five strutters in that road, and one of them had a missing tail feather. And we kind of, Bob kind of nicknamed him the Toothless Wonder. So we kind of had it in our mind that if we got to see the Toothless Wonder, that's what we was gonna go after. When we got to the ranch, got all the stuff loaded up in the Polaris, started down toward the slash pile where we'd been working those turkeys you know, in the morning. Knew about where we wanted to be. There was a, a flat just below their roost where they flew down and, and strutted and carried on most of the morning up there. So we got all of our stuff ready and walked up the hill and got up where we wanted to be on that flat. Started calling, had some turkeys gobbling, actually seen them, but they was on out a little further toward the point. Um, yep, they're just right over the knob right here.
Congratulations, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Way to go, brother. Whew. What a beautiful bird, man. We're in Hewlett, Wyoming, hunting on the Solitude Ranch. My good buddy, Bob Lott. Mike Schmidt was kind enough to let me and my youngest boy come out. And uh, he killed one opening day, nice, nice Marion turkey. I've been hunting with a bow for the last few days and I grabbed a gun this evening and uh, we knew about where to be, where these birds was at this morning and got up there on that flat. And sure enough, the hens, they started coming around that flat and him and another one come in there and Bob said, I got him, I'm on the strutter. We knew it was the one we've been seeing this morning because of the missing tail feather, so. Whoo, cha-ching. I love turkey hunting, man, even in the snow. Look at this. I mean, it's snowing right now. It has snowed every day. What a beautiful bird. Congratulations, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate Mike for letting us come out. We sure are grateful. So. Ready to go? Let's go. Your fingers cold yet? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I won't smack you too hard. I had a lot of fun coming out here to Wyoming. Uh, I want to thank Mike Schmid and Bob Lott and all the guys for helping me have a good time out here. And I want to thank my dad for taking me out. Uh, I had a lot of fun hunting the Merriam's turkeys and seeing just a little part of the West. Northeast Wyoming, the Black Hills is absolutely gorgeous out here. If you ever get the chance to come out, you might want to look up Mike Schmid and the Solitude Ranch and Outfitters out here. He's got a class act operation out here and I'd like to thank him and thank my buddy Bob for uh, letting us tag along and I'd like to thank both of them for having me and my youngest boy Steven out here. It sure has been a dream come true for him and, and for me to watch him get to experience the West and, and kill a Merriam's turkey.